So let me, Katie, so I, before the show, I was uh, telling everyone that I'm going to paint my wall um, oh. over the weekend. And it, the color is called Dolphin Blue. Mm -mm. Then Pablo felt the need to Just, share his dolphin impression. With no, 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 oh. no, no, no. Mina gave a dolphin impression to a closed circuit audience, and it was awful. And I had to actually show what a dolphin sounds like. Okay, that let's is... do this. Let's do a dolphin off. Welcome to Highly Questionable. This is Pablo Torre as a dolphin. Ah! And that's Mina Kimes as a dolphin. No, I'm just going to let that one that's sit. Right. What are that's we right. doing? Is there anything to take away from Mina's beloved Nets win over the Lakers last night? You know, the greatest part about doing this show two days in a row is that you can be on this show yesterday when Sarah Spain says she's not intrigued by this matchup, a potential <laughs> finals preview, oh, yeah. uh, because there's nothing we will possibly learn from a um, game in which both And you're like, I don't know. We knew we weren't going to learn anything. I would say if you had to say that we learned something, I guess we learned that Mina's Brooklyn Nets, yes. lifelong yes. Brooklyn Nets Why? fan, Mina Kimes, should be thrilled about the fact that they're shooting fantastically. Since Harden joined the team on January 16th, they are shooting 42% from three, which is wild. They are shooting well. They're fun to watch. Mina, again, <sighs> lifelong suffering Brooklyn, New Jersey Nets fan how do you feel about last night i mean we could talk about their performance since harden joined the team or we could talk about how great they've been since i joined the team oh, as a boy. brooklyn nets Lord. super fan as of a week and a half ago they've gone four and no and does it have to do with me becoming a fan who no. is to say does the fact that they played decent defense last night. Does that correlate with my support for the organization? Impossible to know. Uh, is it because of me that Joe Harris, a man who looks like he has strong opinions about the IPA selection at every restaurant he walks into, <laughs> is shooting nearly 60% from three over the last five games? Is that all because of one Mina Kimes? I don't know, but I do know this. The Nets are getting closer and closer to Pablo's Sixers in the standings, and that has to have him very scared. Yeah, I'm going to address all of Mina's questions in order. The answers are no, 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 <laughs> and no, respectively. I mean, we used to live in Brooklyn. I don't think I ever heard Mina even say or acknowledge that there was a basketball team called the Nets <laughs> for years. But suddenly, here she comes. By the way, side note to all of this, LeBron James just hit the 35,000-point plateau in his career, the third player to ever do that. But that's a footnote to all of this. Who cares? The Nets, right? LeBron what the probably Nets cares. are doing, Mina, what you do not realize is that this is GameStop. You are entering a bunch of people whose <laughs> brains got eaten by the internet have come together online to boost the stock of something not realizing that pretty soon there will be a market correction. No, no, no. It's only going up. I just want to clarify something. Pablo said that him and I both lived in Brooklyn, not together, separately, um, in separate uh, apartments. Yeah, I just want to- You sure? Yeah, clarify. Just people it's are weird very on the internet. very separate. Should brittle old Big Ben just hang it up if the Steelers cut him? Yeah, this show's brutal. So obviously, uh, Ben Roethlisberger, the conversation right now is based off of comments made by his GM, where he basically just said, Ben plays for us right now. And then he said, we got a cap problem and we need to fix that. He did not parse words. Ben has gone and said he wants to keep playing. Ben has said, I don't even care about money next season, <laughs> which is a weird strategy and just kind of makes me feel icky because it feels like, no, no, I'll do anything. You can do anything to me. Just please, <laughs> please, please, please don't leave me. And that kind of desperate energy just makes me uncomfortable when it plays out in public. But the truth of the matter is that right now he's like a $41 million cap hit which is wild. There's a number of ways they can get that down. If they cut him or he retires, I believe it drops to around 20 
two. He could, not likely, but play for the minimum, and then I think that gets it down to 23, or they could restructure it, and then it gets it to 27. Either way, none of those numbers are all that good. The question being asked is, should he retire if he gets cut? I think it's clear he wants to play somewhere else. And look, as somebody who could never have pictured Tom Brady playing somewhere else and then had to very much get used to it on the highest level this season, I think it could be a possibility that we see him go somewhere else. I don't think that's probably going to be best for his legacy and career, but who am I to say? I think this is about Ben's ego as much as anything. I mean, the reality of who he is and how old he is, he is the same age as Aaron Rodgers, right? No, like, that, that can't be true. Absurd. That's that so is weird. Pitbull vibes. Like Pitbull, by the way, just 40 years old. Shocking, right? Big Ben, only as old Why as Aaron Rodgers. That? Similarly shocking. What I would say about the Steelers and him, though, in this relationship that is clearly eroding in public is that as much as he should be aware of his own mortality and how he is slowing down in every way, think about how he went out. That game they lost against the Browns, it was three turnovers in the first quarter. It was 28 points given up. You can't end your career by stepping onto a giant orange rake like that. And so I think Big Ben, even if it's not with Pittsburgh and it's with somewhere else, and by the way, there may be like a half dozen teams that could possibly use even this version of Ben Roethlisberger. I don't think this is when he says, actually, I am done with the game. Let that be the last time you see me. But that's the thing, Pablo. Like if his ego is factoring into this, if he does not want to look like a lesser version of himself, he should not play football anymore. I mean, Ben Roethlisberger can play quarterback in the NFL, but he can't play it well. We saw that. He had the lowest average completed air yards per attempt of any quarterback last year. Defenses figured that out about halfway through the season, knowing that he wasn't going to throw it deep. Started playing him aggressively and... That playoff game was the result. Now, there is a universe in which he plays behind a better offensive line in a running game, but do we really want to see Ben Roethlisberger carried to the finish in a weekend at Bernie's style offense? <laughs> Does Ben Roethlisberger want to be Bernie in this very bleak metaphor? I don't think so. So if I'm him, I look at my Super Bowl ring and my money, and I call it a day, even if I can still play in a diminished fashion. If I'm him, I also am probably watching ESPN, and I'm like, man, it seems really fun to criticize me as opposed to actually be me. Man, these people have compared me to a dead guy who got walked around a party <laughs> and a desperate person who doesn't want to be alone for the rest of their life. <sighs> Does Carson Wentz make the Colts a real Super Bowl contender? That's that's right. Carson Wentz, uh, the biggest investments the Eagles have ever made outside of their literal stadium, now plays for the <laughs> Colts. And uh, does that make them an amazing? Probably not. Here's the thing. It'll be good for him to have consistency. Uh, in 16 games last year, the Eagles started 14 different combinations of offensive linemen. That's not going to help you get some sort of a rhythm. And so the Colts do bring to the table for him consistency and also familiarity because Frank Reich is there. They're reunited. They clearly know each other and have a good relationship. And so it's possible that they'll be good and that we get to see the Carson Wentz that currently only exists mythologically, where we refer to him as like, he was, he's good. I think he can really still do it. It's just these reasons. Now we get to see, is it just those reasons? And can he come back? Do I think that we can put a Super Bowl there? Maybe not. Maybe. I don't know. I'll be happy to eat these words, but <laughs> most likely not. But it will be interesting to see yeah. what quarterback he decides to be in a more reliable system. It's kind of amazing on its face that a quarterback who is statistically the worst in the NFL last year joined a team in Indianapolis and their Super Bowl chances in Vegas actually increased. Like, just sit back <laughs> and recognize how wild that is. Um, I'm going to give my opinion here, but I want to do it in a way so that if the Colts actually do make the Super Bowl, oh, okay. I am not aggregated and taunted by the team of Cows, which is a thing that happens all the time now. And I'm <sighs> very, very frightened of them. Tom Brady did it the other day. So let me try to say this in a nuanced manner. The Colts are a good team. 
They are losing their left tackle, some free agents, defense is probably going to regress. But I think Carson Wentz is going to be better than he was last season. I don't think it's likely that he's going to be his 2017 self. And I also think that his 2018 or 2019 self, probably not an upgrade over Phillip Rivers, who got the Colts to the wild card right round last year. So I believe, and again, not <laughs> aggregatable. None of this matters. They're going to cut all of it out. I think that the Colts are a playoff team, but I think they are probably, I think Indianapolis is probably not a Super Bowl team. That's at Mina Kimes. Yeah, no, Katie, like Mina was very methodical and painstaking to be nuanced and refuse aggregation. And I congratulate her on giving us all of those edit points with those pauses to give the viewers and the internet no. actually no. what she feels, which is no, 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 this. no, 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 no. I don't think Carson Wentz is going to be better than he was in 2018 or 2019. And I also believe that the Indianapolis Colts are not a Super Bowl team. Up next on HQ. I've spent an entire uh, Red Sox playoff series in my bathroom, watching it from sitting in my sink. Do you question if Giannis should feel loved or offended by his brother's routine during his free throws? All right, so Giannis, maybe not the greatest free throw shooter. His brother, Thanasis, who's on his team, reacts in a very... Uh, uh, theatrical way every time he shoots let's take a look okay, there he is. the arrow really wasn't necessary <laughs> <laughs> it's the guy leaning oh, over wow. to knock on wood yes oh well i mean how does this go oh Result. it worked results it worked. one of the seven in ten times that approximately Giannis will make a free throw as the most superstitious person, I feel comfortable saying most superstitious person on this panel, it's not always really? about not believing in you. It's about thinking that you've got to do this. It's like a ritual. It's not about Giannis as much as it seems like it might be about Giannis. And it works, so shut up. What is the most superstitious thing you do? Katie? Yeah. I want to know now. Um, I don't think we have time to cover stuff like that. Um, I've spent an entire uh, Red Sox playoff series in my bathroom, watching it from sitting in my sink. Because <laughs> you thought that would change the outcome? Because when I got of... up to go to the bathroom in one of the games, like a, it was a, a momentum change and there was a shift. And so I stayed in the bathroom and sat in the sink. And then we won. So again, results. With the sink, though. Yep. So what it is is you sit with your feet in the sink bowl and then your butt on the sink edge and you think about your life choices that have led you to this moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's super weird, Katie. Um, also, pretty weird how Kyrie is talking about LeBron like when cameras can listen. We play that. Because LeBron's not that good at making free throws himself. We, uh, yeah, we we'll have... Hey. <laughs> wow. Hey. Hilarious he commentary is... by Kyrie Irving, my favorite player in the NBA who's never been wrong about anything, <laughs> playing for the, uh, the league's most beloved team. Wow. Amazing. Do you question if football is Mac Jones' best sport? I mean, we'd have to provide some evidence, which luckily I'm about to do. We have footage of Mac Jones playing cornhole with uh, against Doug Flutie, who you may know from the Nugenics commercials. Uh, <laughs> this is in an event called the Super Hole, which Mina described as kind of like a pro am situation. It's called for the cornhole Super that Hole. happens around the big game. Okay. Mm hmm. Where's Mac? Oh, here we go. Oh, that, that's 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 Doug Flutie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Flutie's up and in. Fonted in Nugenics commercials as Hall of Famer. Ooh. I mean. Could oh my. Find a way in. Oh, too short. Doug Flutie kind of sucks at cornhole. <laughs> 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 Matt Jones. That is not Alabama accuracy. Did someone just go? Ooh, yep, ooh. they did. They did. Oh, oh, oh in your face, Mina. Apologies for the slander. 
Go! Oh, oh held it up! The gooseneck. Putting three bags in the hole. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh no! That last guy. Oh wait, wait, re, oh, re rack that, that. re rack that. <laughs> he knew though. He knew. He like half put it up. He half put it up so that it could look like he was doing something oh. else and then adjusted his hat. That's a smart move. That is a you went smart from a man. high five to a good day to you. <laughs> I'll high five you in your beans jersey. High five, sir. I'm really enjoying this event. Like I could have watched hours of that, yeah, but same. cornhole people need to work on language and phrasing. First of all, it's the ACL. It's a sports league called the A. I, mean, I understand you're <laughs> unlikely to yeah. incur like a serious injury playing cornhole, but that, and then like. The super hole? I mean, <laughs> it's called the super hole. I... Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Tonight on ESPN, Bulls and 76ers. Uh, I always forget if I'm supposed to say I'm intrigued now or after the clip, but I'll just lead with it. No, not intrigued. But what I am Why? intrigued by is this clip of Doc Rivers answering a question on a Zoom call press conference from a very comfortable Sixers blogger. And Jackson Frank. Hey, Doc. Um, pretty prolific first half um, from you guys without Ben and then Joel kind of a... Jackson, are you, are you in bed right now? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm in my bed, yeah. Jesus Christ, Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite part of oh, oh god oh god, god. we all saw oh, it coming Jesus my favorite part of that Christ, is that the, it, it, shut up Pablo it's not your turn yet my favorite part is like the 13 seconds where you could see Doc be like should I say something is it yeah. too late to say something and then he's like yeah hey you in your bed and then just like a I yes indeed yes I am in my bed Mina are you intrigued I'm sorry yeah no, Pablo's yeah, posed like that that's and okay. I don't know that's how to okay. Do you want to take a lap and I'll see if he's intrigued? Pablo, are you intrigued? Joel Embiid, wait, wait a minute, hold on. Joel Embiid, MVP number one, Ben Simmons number two, mm -hmm. on the MVP ballot and the defensive player of can the you year just, ballot. He should be number one, actually. Oops. Make those Can you just be mindful work. of what you're doing with your legs? Legs, yeah. Can you Why? just be, can you just just be aware? Just be so, aware that you're being watched and so maybe be a little What's bit wrong? more What's wrong with modest. My Nothing is wrong with your, I'm not going to finish that. Um, it, you, it's, why don't you come on home? Can you come back to the chair? Just cover okay. yourself. All right. Oh, wow. Are you, are you wearing shoes? No. Is that, why? It seems like that... you're wearing shoes. You are wearing shoes. Why did no, you have not. shoes on in the first place? Because it's cold. This weekend on ESPN, the Australian Open Finals. Yes, I am intrigued. Looking forward to Osaka Brady, also Medvedev uh, Djokovic, because Medvedev is known as not being very exciting to watch, but he is trying to engage with the crowd, and I like that. That's a sick, sick return, but- Pow, pow, like pow, 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 pow. <laughs> yep, that's right. I love an uncoordinated looking athlete. Somebody who's at the top of their game, but can't do finger guns without it looking <laughs> Very oh. strange. Mina, are you intrigued? Those were finger guns. Uh, maybe not. They might not have been. I mean, no, it, it adds up because why else would someone be doing this? It's just clearly like that's the finger guns are kind of just going in every direction, pew pewing. I don't really, it's like stormtrooper. Mina, kind are of vibe. you intrigued? Oh, um, I'm intrigued by Osaka, Brady. <laughs> okay, Pablo, are you intrigued? <laughs> I'm intrigued by Mina Kimes trying to establish that she is too cool for the very thing that she just did, establishing that, in fact, she is exactly as cool as we all thought she was. Also, yes, 3.30 a.m. on ESPN and streaming platforms owned by ESPN. I will be awake and watching this final. All right, that feels like enough. I think yeah, we could wrap that yeah, up there. If yeah. you want more Mina Kimes, you can find her everywhere. NFL Live, the Mina Kimes show featuring Lenny. Uh, if you want more Pablo Torre, as always, I'll say maybe ask a doctor first, but you can uh, listen to <laughs> ESPN Daily. That's his podcast. You can find me, Sports with a Question Mark. Have a good weekend. Bye. I saluted. You do. Oh, Love wow. Those. Have a good weekend. Now, what sea animal can I master? What other sea animals make Manatee. sounds? Manatee. Do manatees mm. make sounds? I don't know, but it sounds like your responsibility to find out. <laughs>
in my mind, they are just kind of like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.